In this progression, you'll be starting with an E chord based off the C form of the cage system. Now, you only need to bar the first, second, and third strings to play this chord. But considering where you're going to be going in the second measure, this G sharp seventh, you might try this. Go ahead and bar a 5 6 plus bar, meaning you'll bar strings 5 through 1, but you'll also deaden the sixth string. Why would you want to do that? A couple reasons. It puts your hand in the exact same position that you'll need to go to the G sharp seventh. This is a very, very subtle change. You just move your wrist out just maybe another half an inch. But the beauty is that your first finger doesn't have to move as far, and it helps you dampen between the chord changes. That's very important to look at what happens in between the chords. If you've got open strings ringing, you've got to dampen. We all do. So here you have this E chord, and then I simply relax, and everything's dead, and I can slide my first finger over. And notice that your second and your third finger simply move down and pitch one string. That's a G sharp seventh. Then they go back over. So you have the C-sharp minor, you're back to this 5-6 plus bar where you're deadening the 6th string. And then your 2nd and your 3rd and your 4th fingers are all going to be pivots when you go to the A flat, or the A major 7, and you have a cross bar. This is easier than it sounds. You simply press the 6th string in the 5th fret, the 1st string in the 4th fret. Your first finger's curled up, you're not worried about pressing those other strings down. And that makes for an easy change. And then, when the progression starts over again, your second and your third fingers are going to be pivots for the E chord. So make sure you look at the economy of motion that exists in this progression. Not only does it make it easier to play, but it helps you understand that musically you want to keep good voice leading in place, meaning when the note doesn't need the change going from this chord to this chord, don't change it.